Welcome, friends and fellow collectors, to another edition of Diecast Emporium. Military Monday is brought to you by my friends at smallscalehobbies.com. There's the business card. If you are into military scale models from any period in our nation's history, and indeed from around the world, check them out. They have military models in a variety of different scales, as well as different modeling accessories like decals and paint. Everything you need to take on this hobby with both feet firmly in. In this week's episode, we're going to be taking a look at the MTVR MK31 tractor, this vehicle right here. Now, this is a kit by Arsenal M, despite the fact that it comes in a mini tanks box. This is the box that it comes in. Here's your item number. And on the back, for those that care about what the back of these things look like, there you go. So, you get just the truck, not the trailer, not the fuel trailer here, uh, in this set. And the MTVR is another one of those funky military abbreviations. And it stands for Medium Tactical Vehicle Replacement. The vehicle is made by Oshkosh Defense, and it's been in service since the mid-2000s. The United States Army uses this, the United States Marine uses this, so does the Air Force as well as the Navy, and I believe the British Army has their own fleet of MTVRs, if I'm not mistaken. So, what is the big selling point for this tractor? It looks kind of generic, looks like a tractor you'd see hauling any 18-wheeler down the road. Well, this vehicle has all-wheel steer built into it, meaning that all of these wheels not only are driven, but they all steer independently, so this truck can get around in the toughest, harshest terrain with the utmost maneuverability, so that is critical, obviously, when you are transporting logistical supplies, fuel would be a logistical supply, and they also market this to pull the U.S. military's heavy haul low boy trailers, so trailers that would haul the D7s, the D9s, that kind of stuff. Uh, as well as some of the Bradleys and some of the support vehicles as well. So, it does feature the TAC-4 independent suspension system with the all-wheel steer. This truck in the real world can go up to 65 miles an hour on a paved surface. It can also climb up to a 60% grade with a trailer attached to it. The fifth wheel vertical load capacity is 32,000 pounds, so that works out quite well to hold pretty, haul pretty much anything the military has. Uh, and they do offer, you don't really see it on here, but they do offer this with the fire protection and up-armored kits available that uh, a lot of times you would see these the newer versions of these MTVRs completely furnished from the factory with, really starting in 2008 and beyond. Okay, let's talk about the model. I've showed you the box. I've talked to you a little bit about it. Here are the pieces that I didn't use. So... You will have a lot of leftover parts from this kit, which is nice, because you can always use these on uh, some of your other models. Also, this is the one of the instructional kits that comes with the model. We're going to move this out of the way just for a second here. Now, you'll notice the first instructional sheet is for the Mark 23, which is the, the tandem um, troop transporter, or the hauler. Now, that's essentially what you get in addition to some Arsenal M pieces that make up the MK31, the tractor version. So this tells you what you're going to have to cut and remove from the MTVR Mark 23. This is the new resin piece that you have to attach. There's your fifth wheel. Uh, there's your winch and other accessories. So there you go. That's both sheets of instructions. Nothing on the back of this one either. Overall, I'd have to say this went together pretty easily. Um, I do not have the side view mirrors accessories on the truck yet. They are still drying. But when they are finished, I will put them on the truck. As you can see, the fifth wheel will work and line up nicely with the, the Trident fuel tanker, which is what this is. I've also tried it with the Northcott Lowboy trailer which looks a lot like, if you look up promotional photos of this vehicle, it looks a lot like the heavy equipment trailer that it's transporting. On the back, here's your wheels. This is your fifth wheel, your exhaust, your air cleaner. Uh, it does come with some clear window inserts if you want to put those in. I don't like putting them in. I always get glue all over them. They don't look very good. One thing I do want to pick up, though, at some point soon, they actually make 
it's almost like an epoxy-like material. You, you insert it where the windows would be, and when it dries overnight, it actually looks like pretty decent windows and windshields. A lot of the modelers use it for 3D kits and 3D printed models that don't come with any windshields, so that's something I do want to try. At any rate, very short video today. Just wanted to kind of showcase another version of the MTVR. I did showcase, I believe it was the Mark 23 version. That's been on a previous edition of Military Mondays. You can take a look at that video right now. If you want to pick this up from smallscalehobbies.com, it is still available as item number 1142026631. Again, long number 1142026631. There will also be a link in the video's description. I picked mine up for just shy of $37 US, which I feel is perhaps maybe a little bit too much for this, considering you only get a tractor. But that said, the kit was fun to do. Aside from doing some chassis modification, you really shouldn't have any issue with it. In fact, you'll probably have less problems than I did. But uh, it is fun, and you can knock it out in an evening uh, and maybe the first part of the next day. That'll do it for this week's edition of Diecast Emporium Military Mondays. Thank you all so very much for showing this series. Finally, the love and due diligence that it deserves. The video views for Military Mondays have finally, after a year and a half, started to pick up a bit. I know you guys are into it. I by no means have ever proclaimed to be the best military modeler that's ever existed. I consider myself on the very, 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 very beginning level of that. Um, so obviously, perhaps these models could look a whole lot better than what you're seeing, so just bear that in mind. I like to mix the historical information about the real vehicle and tie it in with the scale model world. That's always been something I'm passionate about is military history and technology. And I gotta say, in 187 scale, you can outfit a train, an HO scale train, with a bunch of flat cars of military stuff, uh, as well as just having maybe a layout of, a, of an army base or any U.S. military installation. You can outfit it with several of these trucks, and they do look great. Again, huge thanks to Greg and crew at smallscalehobbies.com. Again, check them out for everything military scale model related. Until next time, take care, be well. I'll see you in the next review.